doing something a little different today. Hey, it's Care. Welcome to Matcha at the Lake. Today I got up my watercolor toys. Hi, little Riley. Which I haven't really shared much about my watercolor stuff with you. I haven't had my watercolor stuff out in a really long time. But I am jazzed to revisit it. I go in streaks with my watercolor. I'll, I'll go 10 years and not pick up a brush and then I'll paint like a crazy person for five years and then I put it away and I don't paint again for five years and then I... We're on the I'm painting again cycle. I see lots of people watercoloring and there are some things that I want to chat about but I just wanted to show you my own setup, give you my take on it as I do. I'm left-handed when I paint. I don't switch very often. I see people all the time who are right-handed who have their water over there. What? Why? Why would you do that? Set your stuff up. If you're going to watercolor and have water out, set your stuff up on the side of your dominant hand so you're not reaching over your paper with paint and ink and water and water keep it on the side that you're painting on this is one of my favorite tips i i used to travel all over the place and go to watercolor workshops and i cannot remember who taught me this but uh, this is old-fashioned long johns before cuddle duds they had just cotton long johns and they're super soft and they're they're kind of quilted, or I'm, I'm not sure what the word is, but these are the very best, so they're lint-free. Uh, not the case with toilet paper or paper towels or Kleenex. Take the cardboard core out of a roll of toilet paper, and then roll your nice, soft, and old old t-shirt works well 100% cotton old t-shirt that's well worn works well too but I, I love these long johns anytime I see them at St. Vinny's I pick them up and cut them into paint rags because they're they're phenomenal paint rags the other thing is my my jars of water they're not too high you know they're not quart jugs but they're not little shot glasses either they're just a nice medium height so that it's not a, a chore to get up over into that tall thing and you're not worried about tipping them over so that matters i have two jars one is to clean my brush and one is for clear water because if i'm paint if i if i've been painting in all these dark staining colors blues and greens and i swish in that thing and clean out my brush if I only have one jar of water, I either have dirty yellow when I go to paint yellow, or I have to get up and get clean water, get up and get clean water. If you have two, you have a, one to make dirty water with your dirty brushes, and one that stays clean so that your colors stay pure and bright. Another thing that I like to touch on now, I know this is a junk journal channel and you're not necessarily painting and watercolor but since we have it out uh there's a you know some people just they'll use the kids toy that you can buy for dollar 25 in the kids section uh to just throw some color on a page that's fine and dandy or a small palette like this that you fill with your favorite colors or uh, they travel windsor and newton has a fantastic little cotman uh, travel kit that has student grade artist watercolor in there I'm sorry, I said student grade. Student grade, that's what I meant. Artist quality is the higher, more pigment, less filler, much more expensive. These are all professional artist quality, as is these. But the Cotman kit, Cotman is Windsor & Newton, the brand of watercolor. That's their student grade paint. But even further down the food chain is that toy that you get at any you can get them at Dollar Tree you can get them at Walmart Meyer they're just little flip palettes with kids you know 
the primary colors and a few extras thrown in. Those are primarily filler. They'll get real muddy real fast and real gray. But if you're just throwing in a little red or you want to just throw a flower on a page in a junk journal, they're fine. But if you're more serious about painting in watercolor, most people say, Art stuff is too expensive. I'll use the kid's stuff till I get good. This is a child's toy. You'd never use a kid's pedal car to get good at driving or to prepare for highway craziness. You'd not practice with toys to get good at building a house. And before you'd even give yourself a chance to get good at watercolor, you'd give up out of frustration because the toys won't do what you want them to. I've always recommended to use tube paint. Uh, um, pans are okay, and I've painted for watercolor for 30, 30 years or better. So I've tried everything, and I prefer tube, tube watercolor. And it drives me absolutely bonkers to see and there's a couple of teachers who are brilliant painters and I don't understand why they do this but they take their tube of watercolor and they put just a little tiny little little speck of paint in their well instead of filling up the well this is tiny little how do you expect to get bright bold beautiful watercolors with barely any paint fill those wells up this is going to dry out these are all dry this is dry I haven't I haven't painted in probably three years so these are dry from the tube but they are perfectly perfectly fine I am going to take my water and I'm, I'm only going to use a few colors in fact I might just use up what's on my palette. I do have a brand new palette. I got myself a new palette a couple three years ago because my good one, my big one was just tired. I have a video somewhere. If I can dig it up, I'll, I'll put a clip in here and show you. This is all perfectly good paint. So I'm just going to reconstitute it by spritzing some water. So if I know I'm going to paint, just spray my paint well. And, and that paint is perfectly fine. It will be perfectly fine. I leave it open to dry so they don't mold. And when it's dry, I close them up and put it away. Easy peasy. If they dry in the tube, you got to take the tube apart. If they dry here, you can use them forever. So if you're going to put tube paint in a palette, fill those wells up. Squeeze those tubes right out. Now that I'm, I have access to people around the country and beyond, this is an old-fashioned Windex bottle with this pump top. All the new ones have the squeeze trigger. I've contacted Windex because we can, I can't find this this kind of bottle anywhere in my state of Michigan, but Windex assures me that they're for sale in certain places. If you have any of these, or you have seen these in your grocery store, or you have some of these in your garage, I would like them, please. <laughs> uh, we'll do a trade of some sort. I'll send you a journal or some papers or whatever, coupon from my Etsy store, whatever. Um, old Windex bottles. These are, and I'll tell you why. They leave the best spritzing they leave, depending on how you squeeze it, if you squeeze it really hard and fast, you get a nice mist, you know, just a simple mist. If you kind of pump it halfway real quick, just pump, 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 not fully, not all the way, not too fast, not too slow, you'll get a mix of fine mist and, and spray. And if you do it real slow, you get nice big droplets the best for watercolor painting I have ever used. I have, I, I covet these. Uh, so try it out. And I, again, I've tried the, the, I've tried all kinds. The new Windex bottles because they're everywhere and they're easy to find. Uh, I've tried these little kind. I've tried 
these uh, some from the plant section I, I'm a cosmetologist licensed cosmetologist so I've I've gotten a whole bunch of spray bottles from the cosmetology supply places because those have completely different sprays on them as well old Windex bottle nothing like it in fact I have an, I have two and one has cracked the plastic it cracked and I've duct taped it and I just make sure not to put water that high up <laughs> so I'm limping along with my one and a half bottles of Windex so if you have any please DM me on my Etsy store I'd love to hear see if we can find any because I think they're like unicorns I have been looking and looking and looking for high 10 years and that's why I worked to Windex because I was hoping they had a whole basement full you know and they would just send me a couple empty bottles they said, no, no, you can find them. Try, try here, try there, try everywhere, which I did. And they're full of shite. We don't have them anywhere. All my paints, I've forever, I've been a, a Windsor and Newton snob. That's all I would ever use. Windsor and Newton, artist quality. Except for uh, Holbein makes something called Opera, and it's the super hot fuchsia pink. Windsor and Newton didn't have anything like that for a long, long time. So I had all Windsor and Newton except for Opera. But... When I decided to get into painting again, it had been 20 years since I had bought any new paints. So I thought, well, treat myself. And I just happened to get it when Holbein was changing their packaging over from old packaging to new packaging. And they were clearancing their old packaged stuff. So I got, I think it was $260 worth of paint for about a hundred bucks wow i bought i bought a lot of paint i lifetime supply so i hope i hope i love holbein because that's what i have 